hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Kendra and in today's video we are going to be budgeting my paycheck for the week of February the third week of February so let's get right into it find my page okay so I already did the budgeting budget I uh, cannot can't talk I already did the budgeting portion of it so if you can see I budgeted $686.78 which is what I always budget just in case I don't do overtime and I just work a straight 40 hour week and that is what I budget so um this week we are going to be Stuffing 140 for our mortgage, 20 for our phone. This actually went up for my electric because I figured out. Um, I think no, I think I was budgeting 10. Yeah, for the last two paychecks, I um, budgeted 10 dollars, but now um, this week is going to be 38. I should have just put 10 and put 38 on actual because that's what I thought I was going to be stuffing 10 dollars. But by the time I did the budget, I had already knew what I was going to um, actually be stuffing. So I just did it, went ahead and put it right here. So all of this side is going to stay the same. Everything is staying the same for now. And sorry if you guys noticed I have my coat on because I literally just got off of work and I came straight up here to make a video because I was supposed to do this video yesterday. But my son just... He, he held me up all day. Like, I was with my son all day from the time that I got off of work to the time that I went to work today. So, I want to get this done and over with. Get this video out there. And, oh my goodness, did I leave my phone downstairs? I left my phone downstairs. But, good thing I can remember what I actually got paid, which is $8.62. I can't remember the change, but I did get paid $8.62, so I'm going to go ahead with that. And then mortgage is going to get $140, phone is going to get $20, electric is going to get $38 this week, gas is $60, which is my home gas bill, my water is going to be $10, so $10, car insurance $20, and internet $15. So we're going to go ahead and add that up, 140 plus 20 plus 38 plus 60 plus 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 15 equals 313. So now 8 62 minus 313 is 539. You see the difference, 373 versus 549. So we've got some money to work with. Um, this week, Gem is getting zero. Amazon Music is getting zero. Netflix is going to get six. Fun is getting... Uh, I think I'm going to do less for fun this week only because I haven't been spending anything out of the fun category. So fun, we're going to do let's do 10 for fun. Um, gas, I haven't really been putting gas in my car because my boyfriend put gas. So since last week, I think last week I had put 25. I haven't put anything since. So with gas, we're going to do, let's do 25 for gas. Uh, shopping is going to get 40. I try to keep shopping at 40 because shopping could be anything. So who knows what I'm going to have to spend for this week. Um, groceries, 40. And eating out is going to get 50. So... Do zero for heat these. Alright, so six plus ten 
plus 25 plus 40 plus 40 plus 50 equals 171. 171, so 5, 49 minus 171 equals 378. All right, so now we have um, acorns is getting 50, savings is getting 50, and the only reason why these never change it's always going to be 50 is because they automatically come out of my account as if it's a bill so acorns and savings is always going to get 50. all right so let's see how much 50 and 50 is 100 so let's see how much we have to put towards debt 178 minus 100 equals 278 so we can stuff the whole 135 this week. 135. So we're going to just, uh, let's do 135 plus, oops. 135 plus 100 equals 235. So 235. So. 378 minus 235 equals 143. So we have 143 left and we're going to put 60. So for the savings challenge, we are just going to do 60. So savings challenge. So minus 60. So the um, sinking funds will get 80, 83. Sinking funds 83. All right, so let's see. 135. I, I always do that. I start with 135 first, I guess, because that's the biggest number. Plus 50 plus 50 plus 60 plus 83 equals 378. So why did I put 253 right there? I knew I did something wrong. All right. 378 which equals zero dollars remaining so that is it for that we got that out the way so we'll be able to stuff something in the savings which will only be one envelope and then we'll put something towards our sinking funds right. anyway I need to have both of these sides open. All right, so now we are going to do our cash denomination. So I'm going to go ahead and write down all my categories. All right, so for mortgage, we're going to do one $100 bill in two 20s. Phone is going to get 120. Electric is going to get 120, a 10, and where we at? 120, a 10, 5 is 35, and then three ones. Gas is going to get a 50 and a 10. Water is going to get a 10, sewer is going to get a 10, car insurance is going to get a 20, internet is going to get a 10 and 5. Netflix is going to get 5 and 1. Fun is going to get a 10. Gas is going to get a 20 and a 5. Shopping is going to get 220s. No, I did this last time. Shopping is going to get, you know what, yeah, this is the 220s. 220s for shopping. Groceries is going to get 
two twenties. Eating out is going to get one twenty. Two tens. So it's twenty and two tens is forty and two fives is fifty. Alright. So now we are going to go ahead and do the bill quantity. So one one hundred, one fifty, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenties. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tens. One, two, three, four, five, six fives and four ones. So the total amount, bill amount will be 100 equals 100, 150 equals 50, 11 20s equals 220, 8 20s equals 80. I know that, but we're gonna so we'll put it in the calculator. Uh, six fives is 35, Ooh, 30. Yep, 30. Four ones is Okay, four ones is four. So now we are going to total this up and it should equal $862. So let's see that. 100 plus 50 plus 220 plus 80 plus 30 plus four equals. Oh, wait. All right, so now 100 is getting two. Two hundreds. She goes two, and now it's getting four fifties. 450s equals 200. Um, I added another 10. 12 10s. Twelve tens. I meant no. Twelve twenties. Twelve twenties, which makes this two forty. Oh, this one is looking right kitty. All right, now let's try this again. So we have 200 plus 200 plus 240 plus 150 plus 60 plus 12 equals 862. Now, now we're on track, which means this is the denominations I gotta have. So I need to clean this off so I will be back. Once I clean it off. Okay, I am back. I cleaned it off as best I could. So, the quantity of hundreds is two, which is 200. The quantity of fifties is four, which is 200. Tens. Oh, and 20. I keep wanting to do 10s. Oh, see, I switched these around. Okay, so 20s is 12. 20s is 240. 10s is 15. Which is 150. I wonder if I had that right with the first one. Because I don't even realize that was switched around. 5 is 12. Which is 60. And 1 is 12. Which is. Wow, and the total should be, what am I looking at, I don't know, 
I'm gonna double check this again. 200 plus 200 plus 150 plus 240 plus 60 plus 12 equals 862. We are in business, so I'm going to go to the bank. I'm gonna pull out these quantities and I'll be back for the cash stuffing video so that is the end for this video if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment below and consider subscribing i love to have you on my channel and i'll see you in the cash stuffing bye